and we're going to talk about all the personality types, polar elements, blind spots, as you will, okay, without geeking too much over it, and overall, just make it easily accessible and show you how they manifest in people, based on my observation and learning and all of that stuff. So let's start with FI polar, right? SLE and ILE. Now, the, when you think of FI Polar, you probably are thinking of SLE, yeah, the startup of an SLE. Basically, the more ruthless and personal individual who will violate your personal boundaries as if they don't matter. That's just one side of the Polar, and it's really just represented in the SLE as they're both different, right? So, with an SLE, the bigger issue here is getting backstabbed, betrayed by others because you don't know how to judge people's character because you don't pay attention to the people's character. And this is really visible with uh, SLEs throughout history. If you've seen SLEs throughout our history and many of them maybe let someone in their inner circle maybe something happened and they got betrayed for that they paid the price so that is something that happens with SLEs quite often we don't make character judgments or oh, is this a good person is this a bad person if you don't do those character judgments it's really hard to avoid getting backstabbed but as an SLE also has an issue with judging that psychological closeness knowing how close he is to people how people feel about him how he feels towards people that also can be a problematic thing for an SLE and I, I think they're overall gonna have a more impersonal approach to people. Likes your dislikes, that FI Polar makes it difficult to judge things like that. Uh, it, things are judged more in, impersonal. When ILE, FI Polar manifests quite differently. It is more geeky. It comes with the almost awkwardness when it comes to social conventions. Those are the kinds of people who will make a joke, maybe on a funeral, make a distasteful joke on a funeral. And everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, I don't know this guy. So that is something that they might do. But the FI Polar with an ILE is much more harmless. It's not as damaging as the SLE's FI Polar because it's not combined with with the SE base. Now, one thing I've noticed differently with ILEs and SLEs here in their polar function is that an SLE is harder time with getting betrayed, right? I've noticed I don't think ILEs struggle with that much. And I think that might be because of their an evaluation. They might judge people's potential much better. So even if they're FI polar, I think they have an advantage there. Another thing with ILEs I've noticed with their geekism is that they're very indifferent. In fact, I would say that they're much more neutral than SLEs. With an SLE, he's neutral on a sentimental level. He's not neutral on an ideological level. He's not neutral on you're more on my side, you're against me. That that kind of level. You, know, you share my beliefs, you share my opinions, you're my group, you, you, you know, you're my circle. They're very personal in that sense because they do care about the collective. Now that I leave from what I've noticed is that they don't care about that. They're completely neutral, you know. They don't get involved in sides. To an ILE, it's like what sides? There's no sides here. There's no sides. It's just the truth and being rational, you know. So uh, that's the one thing I don't like about ILEs much. And uh, some of you might think, oh, but that's a good trait to have. Someone being so neutral is a good... No, it's not. I'm not here for neutrality. Like, I'm not here to for some geek to be neutral with me. Like, oh, someone insulted my friend. I don't want to jump in and, and start a fight because he didn't do that to me. Lol, not that deep. I have no tolerance for that behavior. Zero whatsoever. I don't like it. SEE. So, TI Polar and IE TI Polar, both TI Polar types, right? So, with SEEs, I believe that TI Polar is masked a bit better. We usually associate TI Polar stereotypes with IEs, I would say more so. When SE, the basic principle here is that we do what works. So, we don't inhibit ourselves with rules and procedures, right? That's how an SE believes. That's what he thinks. Um, what works goes. Something doesn't work, what's the point of doing it? So there is more of that f focus on pragmatism. The rules are meant to kind of be played with. They're not going to really inherently care about those things. They just care about getting a certain result, and that's about it. So not really following any specific code, not following any specific kind of uh, guidelines and hierarchies that they create, the order. They're not interested in any of that. Not, not at all. Now, that's not to say that SEs are criminals because they don't care about the law, they don't care about the rules. That's not true at all. They will obviously, they will play with rules much more, I would say. They will want to bend the rules because they have no reason to see them. Now, you introduce a rule and let's see, you might ask, oh, yeah, sure, but what's the benefit of this rule? Are you gaining something? No, it's just to create order or maybe, you know, it's, the, it's a principle that you need to live up to because life maybe has meaning when you apply some principles. And SE is like, yeah, what meaning? Fuck you talking about? Not on my watch. So SE is not gonna care about that. Now, their FTI polar also manifests in their impulsivity, in their 
quite disorganized way of going about things. Again, they're not or they're not focused on order. You know, hierarchies. Not interested in that. Much more personal. E extremely rebellious. That's one thing you need to know about SEs. Extremely rebellious type. By far, in my opinion, the most rebellious type of all. Like I've known some SEs and they're extremely rebellious. Like they do not care about social conventions and they have no issues in going against them. Although uh, a little pointed there. Depends on your anagram type. A three is gonna be more of a conformist. Eight, not at all. With an IEE that Ti Polar, it's easy to jump to those stereotypes. They're they're kind of you know all over the place. You know, flying helicopter, whatever. But it's not that simple. I think their any base makes them look even more scattered. Yes, because they're always operating on a conceptual level. That's where their creativity really starts to shine. They have that. A need to really expand and keep expanding on the horizon and always be very extremely abstract, but there's no TI to ground them. There's no TI to kind of tell them, okay, let's categorize things. Let's put things neatly in the categories A, B, C. None of that. None of that systemizing of information. It's just pure, think of it like freedom. That's what it is. Having no TI in that sense is freedom. It's a creative freedom and everything goes. Things just go. While with TI, it wants it, things will go, but they always want to be checked through logically, checked through uh, in a, in a very organized fashion. So that's what makes it different. Much more scattered than the SCE for sure. That's where the TI uh, base, uh, TI uh, the polar really shows itself because I need uh, more scattered, more unstable lifestyle. Again, it's gonna be a bit more uh, more random, more chaotic than an SCE. Now let's move to an polar. We have ESC and LSC. Now with an ESC, very focused on the moment, pleasing in the moment, having a good time, emotional expression in the moment. And often it seems that they don't really, they're not very introspective type. They're not going to sit down and try to introspect. Not going to sit down and try to kind of figure th the meaning behind things. Read in between the lines. They're not interested in that. They don't want that. Very expressive in the moment. What they taking things at face value and not being drawn to introspection. Just not being drawn to introspection. He was sitting down and thinking about things on a deeper level, meaning of life. They just consider those things useful. It's pointless. More so, right? Not to say, obviously, that you can't be introspective, capable of any introspection. It's just something that you don't think much about it. You're just in the moment, expressing yourself in the moment and lacking in that kind of um, more abstract depth, I, I would say. With LSC, it's, it's, it's very interesting because they're TE-based. This is the type of individual who believes there should be more hours in the day, right? So again, issues with time, issues with time, putting as much things in their schedule, trying to deal with all of those things and then not being able to deal with them because they may be... They, didn't, they don't know how to kind of schedule them correctly, how to manage the time. And there's always going to be frustrations with those things. Their attitude to, to kind of reality is, again, extremely pragmatic, extremely realistic. What is, is. There's no focus on let's read in between the lines. Let's add additional subjective meaning. They don't care about any of that. They're absolutely practical individuals who who, if it's not based on factual information, factual uh, data, evidence, and reality... Uh, then that's not the truth at all. It just doesn't matter to them. Then we have TE Polar, which is IEI and SEI. Now, not to be... Of course, I don't know SEI as much. Uh, and sadly, I didn't sit down to read anything. Maybe, uh, yeah, I should have probably. But anyway, I'm sure some SEI is going to explain what the TE Polar looks like. But I'll give my own take too. So IEI, it is the most stereotypical... I, uh, TE poll in my opinion. That's because of NI base. So you have that NI base, which is extremely abstract, finding meaning, finding patterns, destiny, fate, uh, connections, connecting different concepts into one. Those things will be present with an IEI. Very idealistic. So you combine all of that. That's not to say an, an IEI can only be an idealist who lives uh, in his own world and, and he cannot, like, do basic things or work or actually save money or deal with anything that's pragmatic. No, it's just their overarching theme is based ad around idealism. How they judge the world is based ad around that NI and that TI rather than uh, TE, right? So with them, selectiveness of facts. Sometimes they can be extremely distrustful of factual information. They will struggle with, with knowing what's correct what's not correct what's what's true what's not true you want maybe skimming through text what's useful what's not useful Th that quick thinking in the moment articulating in the moment explaining in the moment 
coming with coming up with facts with information quickly this is something that all IEIs I've known struggle with and IEI is great when it comes to sitting down uh, let just articulating those thoughts writing them down and later on putting them out in the world but when it comes to a quick debate they will struggle completely because again this all that and I all that TI it just needs time to process so coming up with quick information from Gecko can be a big struggle for an IEI. There can be a tendency to kind of not be that interested when it comes to what is all objective information and facts. They're more interested in personal meanings. They're more interested in how they believe there's just more to the world than what meets the eye. That's the mentality of an IEI. And they don't want to lose that mentality. They don't want that TE. They would rather have that meaningful very NI based mentality because it gives them some reason to live life, right? And with an SCI, I think them being more sensorical and grounded can make it look less TE polar. But I believe because of that and them not being SE value, they can be much less ambitious and much less, uh, which is, I know it's a surprise to many people. Dualized AI is a machine. I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. A dualized AI is a scary motherfucker. That's what it is. It's not, it's not a joke. Like the SE is there, you never confuse them for an EII, never a million years. When SEI, there's this SI base and TE pole that makes them kind of put a lot of time and in indulging in comforts and being kind of comfortable and, and, and engaging in very being, is very easy going and, and, but struggling with the efficiency, with their time, struggling with putting the time into something productive rather than being cozy and nice. So I think that's my impression. Maybe if I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section, write down how the TE polar of SEI manifests. We have then SE polar. Now with an SE polar, we have LII and EII. With an LII, there is a more of that rational grounded stubbornness that you'll see with them. If you push them, I've seen an, I've seen an LSI literally lynch an LII in front of me. I was looking at popcorn in my hand. I was chilling. This LII doesn't react. This LII simply says, okay, yeah, sure, yeah. They just stand there completely stubborn, not engaging in the SC. Because if it's, if it's, what's the point of the SC, the pushiness? They don't engage in that. They will just be rational. They be logical. And that's it. That pushiness is not really useful for them. They don't view, they view it, if anything, as barbaric and being out of control. That's how they view it, I think. Don't expect them to kind of engage. They'll just stand their ground firmly. And if you get too much, if they see they cannot have a rational conversation with you because all you're doing is using F uh, SE, they will leave. They'll just disengage. Yeah, okay, no, no way I can talk to this monkey. No reason for me. So bye, I'm out. And that's kind of what they'll do. When EII, it's more stereotypical. You know, you blow at them, they'll die. But more stereotypical, more like fragile, more fragile seeming, more avoidant of conflict, more peace keeping, more kind of dependent on others, more submissive in that sense. So they're more what we think of the stereotypical uh, SE polar. Doubtful that there are some EIIs probably watching my videos. There was one uh, EII that watched my video, commented on my one of my videos saying I swear too much. Like I, because I was swearing in the beginning of the video, and they they couldn't watch it. They had like trauma. They couldn't watch the video because I said the, I said fuck, and they 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 couldn't cope. Then we have SI polar, we have EIE and L LIE. Very different two polars, right? Very different polars. With an EIE, it creates a person who is very focused on their mission, focused on their meaning, or on chasing their what what they believe is their calling, right? Finding their calling, more disconnected physically. So all of that. Beta and Fness goes overdrive. It's not that much of an issue for the LIE, but with an EIE, it is a big issue. More spirit, more more spiritual. Again, more spiritual, more connected in that sense, and more disconnected with the environment, with the bodies. Taking care of those mundane details of the physical world around them might not really be something they care about. You know, again, the way they present themselves, it might not be elegant. They will, they just, they go with what they believe expresses their true self, and it might look weird sometimes. You know, again, there are many examples of that in cinema where the EIE just dresses so strangely. They're so eccentric. Yes, because that's how it manifests, you know. Now, this SI polar, while it is very restless, it's unstable energy, always doing things, always being chaotic and, and, and uh, all over the place physically, often it's not really channeled into a productive thing. So that's kind of different, right? It can be wasted on things that don't matter. With an LIE, we have... Uh, a restless workhorse, an individual who is more likely to burn out. Now, if you are an LIE or you have a known an LIE, 
maybe at some point this individual had a burnout because in my opinion they're most likely type to do that so again chasing their dreams chasing the ambitions the their projects constantly looking at different things while not paying attention to their bodies oftentimes neglecting themselves neglecting the more detail the detail oriented uh, things about their life no sleep uh, food all of that they can have struggle in maintaining those things so things can be very much out of order a restless always needs to be moving which then channels in, into work and leads to burnout so be, be careful if you are an lie it's some it's a trap you can fall into always on the go and that's for them in my in my opinion as a point of lie is very advantageous for them in this society because we live in gamma society it is very useful to be this type extremely useful like objectively if i was to look at it objectively lie is probably the best type to be in this uh, day and age literally it's the most op type Sometimes people say, oh, SLE is the most OP type. Uh, no, SLEs compared to LIs are barbarian individuals. Yes, we can go far with our will, but at the end of the day, we don't really fit in with others well. We don't work with, with others that well, you know. We would succeed, and we did succeed many, many years ago. We live in a different era now. Anyway, so ILI and SLI FE Polar. There's not much that I know about FE Polar, but I'll try to kind of explain whatever I know. So with an ILI, I believe the FE Polar actually has a more of a detrimental effect on them and their neuroticism. So an ILI tends to be more neurotic, in my opinion, than an SLI because of that. And trying to take out emotions and, and, and trying to make the ILI communicate openly is extremely difficult. It's it, They start talking in code, you know, motherfucker thinks he's Ted Kaczynski, he starts... Uh, being cryptic, writing symbols in a wall, and you're like, "What the? F what am I reading? Like, I don't understand anything here." And that is that is that's problematic. That's very problematic. With an SLI, I think it's a bit different. It's mostly uh, they don't might they might not believe in that emotional expression because it's uh, detrimental to their harmony, to their internal harmony, to their peace in a, in a sense. So those explosive emotions, they no, they want tranquility. They kind of want that stable line. So that's kind of how it manifests with SLI. And again, not very emotionally expressive. That much is obvious. If any of you guys are FU Polar, write down below how it manifests for you. That would be interesting. Then we have LSI and ESI and E Polar. So LSI, that's what we think of when we think any polar. That's the stereotype of any polar, right? Which is rigid ideology being like, oh, my way of the highway. I am right. You're wrong. This is the truth. One truth. Very singular in its vision. All about that one path with an LSI. One ideology. One structure. One framework. Very slow to adapt. Extremely slow to adapt to different frameworks. Extremely, extremely slow to adapt to different possibilities. Those individuals always want to narrow things. Restrict, restrict, categorize, 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 restrict. To the most extreme extent sometimes, you know, when in a more, more unhealthy LSI, they don't, might not know the limit. They'll just keep on doing it because they believe there's no use for any, there's no place for it. They don't care. So let's restrict everything. Many people, they don't want that. They want the opposite. They want... They don't want restrictions, they want freedom. They want many different possibilities, many different options. And LSI is not interested in that. He wants one path and one path that is correct and that's it. So again, it can be rejecting of your maybe your new insights, new perspectives. If it, it kind of goes against what they know, goes against the theory, uh, their, their already subjective established framework, they might reject it. Might take their time it might take time for them to kind of come along and be like, okay, yeah, you're right. You know, it's not impossible, but it takes more time. Now, with an ESI, I believe that any polar shows itself in the, in the realm of ethics. So maybe the ESI might make a harsh judgment about someone and they might think, okay, this person is not good. I just don't like him. And they might be very stubborn about it. So not changing and bending and willing to consider different views or perspectives in that realm. And another thing, no tolerance for uh, for uncertainty, hard time dealing with many options. That's also something they struggle with. Overthinking can be an issue that ESIs can have. Again, a slight bit of paranoia. That kind of overthinking pushes them to action because it stresses them out, right? always thinking something might go wrong and they don't like that they don't like those things they want clarity they want things to be very clear very precise okay we know where to go many options not good 
So that is kind of how ESIs will kind of manifest it. Maybe you want to talk about your polar element, go ahead and do that. I'm going to read your comment and, and uh, learn something. So because I'm not any polar.